I plan on living in either Florida or California and having my own 
uh, clinic, for my own veterinary clinic. What is your favorite massage memory? Mm, there's a lot. I would say taking the senior photos because everyone was just being silly that day and everyone didn't want, like everyone was coming in late and every, for every person that came in late, we was clapping for them and stuff like that. And basically spending time with my friends. Um, probably going through the remainder of schooling because I'm planning on going to medical school. That's about it. What is your favorite Wasad memory? I don't really have a favorite Wasad memory because I have too many memories and they all get jumbled up and I all enjoyed being here. All of them, so. Ooh. How do you see yourself in 10 years? The question is where won't you see me in 10 years? Facts, yeah. Oh, no, wait, no, I mean, like, you want me to elaborate on that? It's like, I mean, your billboards, your newspaper article, if they still have newspaper. Every time you unlock your screen, because I'm your screensaver, you gonna be hearing my name. Every building you walk past, my name is gonna be right there. Whichever name I decide to put right there, because <laughs> I got a lot of them. All right. And then what's your favorite massage memory? The first day of freshman year. That's the way I met everybody. I could not be alone at all. No, they, they, they just didn't want to. Everybody kept talking to me. They thought I was a sophomore. I'm mad short. Sure. Like, they really tried to play me. Ah, right, yeah, because Israel was definitely one of the first people to just, like, just bypass my whole not wanting to talk to anybody for a year. They didn't care. <laughs> they did not care. My second song too, like <laughs> in ten years, I see myself being the household topic. You know, oh, you see what Izzy did today. Yeah, you see what Izzy put on. You know what I'm saying? Like, my fits are gonna be valid. Like, I'm gonna be that man. Everybody's talking about. That's gonna be me. So, yeah. So I remember it was when a stink bomb went off and we all had to evacuate. I was like the greatest. Like I don't think, I don't think you could have did better than that. But yeah. Thank you, babe. Where do you see yourself? I see myself on a little farm with about 30 chickens and 30 cows, and um, just living my best life. You know, just mowing my grass, feeding my cows, milking the udders, making milk, chicken eggs. Just, I get emotional every time I think about it. God, thank you, Jesus. Okay, now where do you really see yourself in 10 years? Um, I don't. I don't. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mom. Now where do you really see yourself in 10 years? You have to answer something. Oh, I see myself uh, maybe the head of a audiovisual department, making good music videos probably for like 6 9 Ooh. I don't want to get kids in trouble, but uh, it's been a lot of good memories. Let's just say um, the senior trip, that was a bunch of cool memories. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of good stuff happened. Dembo. Really nice. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hmm. I see myself away from Bryce, because, you know, he's something else. But I see myself in the criminal department doing something above probably like FBI. But you know, everybody in the school, I got you, don't worry. Um, hopefully, I won't be shooting anybody, so don't forget that, hopefully. But yeah, definitely senior trip too, because it's either you remember it or you don't remember it. Hmm, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. You know, me and Bryce are going to be, like, in Florida, so. But I see myself being a marine biologist because, you know, I'm going to be taking up after Miss Tom. She's my twin. I have a lot of favorite memories, but my favorite memories are 
junior year with Mr. I and everything that's ever happened in that room. <laughs> yeah, those are my favorite memories. Like every single day there was something funny. Especially like with Cameron and the first time like he ate cookies. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? All right, so I see myself in 10 years in probably one of the computer engineering firms. Um, working on some project that helps the world in some way. I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll figure it out in 10 years, I guess. Uh, my favorite Wasat memory is just the people here, um, like the people and the support I got, even though I joined in like later in sophomore year. So, go for the students. So, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself in 10 years making money and being a CEO of a big company, if not my company. It doesn't matter either one. Being a part of the volleyball team. Okay. Uh, ten years from now, I see myself um, with a successful business, uh, making money, have a family by that time probably, uh, just doing things that I always love to do. Um, I hope I continue uh, get my graduate uh, degree. Uh, let me see. Probably I hope by that time I'm still playing volleyball. You know, doing what I love, doing the things I love, hanging out with family, friends. Um, my favorite Wasab memory will be probably the fact that um, one day I was with Powers and I, I was struggling with a, with a, I think it was an essay, and he helped me through even though it was after school, you know, it was kind of late and, you know, he had to leave but he still stood with me to finish that essay with me, at least, you know, give me the guidance and also help me with anything I needed. You know, that's a very interesting question. Honestly, I can't even see myself and what I'm going to be doing next week, so 10 years is a long way, but I do know it's going to be something very interesting. I just have no idea what it's going to be, so I'll just wait and find out. My favorite Wasad memory, it's something that I've thought about for a while now. At one point, I was asking teachers everywhere, how do deaf people think? Because I think in English, I'm sure Chinese people think in Chinese, etc., things like that. Now I'm thinking, are they just going over signs in their head? So I asked my teachers and no one gives me a response. They said, I have no idea, why don't you just look it up? But then I went to Mr. Key and he stayed with me two hours after school ended just to help me find an answer. At the end of the day, we didn't really find an answer, but it's just the idea that he would actually spend two hours with me because I had a question like that. I thought, wow, this guy's really nice. So that's definitely my favorite memory. In 10 years, I see myself in South Korea, um, studying abroad for psycho, well, not really. Hold on. Yes, I see myself in, Korea, in South Korea. Still studying because I have eight years to go. So yeah. What is your favorite Wasad memory? My favorite Wasad memory was in the senior trip um, when we was going to the roller coaster and during the drop, I was my my mouth was open and my saliva was coming out. <laughs> My saliva was coming out, and then all I see, all I, I open my eyes, and all I see is Miss Tom <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> yeah, that was my, one of my favorite memories. <laughs> I see myself as a CPA, an accountant. I'll be going to school for being an accountant. I'm going to study accounting and business and finance at St. John's University and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Second question, what is your favorite Wasad memory? My favorite Wasad memory is senior trip. A lot of fun vibes, a lot of accidents, a lot of things, a lot of things. Later. What? Oh, okay. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself filming movies and TV shows all over. So, yeah. What is your favorite Wasad memory? My favorite Wasad memory is on the senior trip. And I beat Cody on dominoes a few times. He was angry. Um, in 10 years, I see myself with a master's degree with um, from business administration and I see myself having my own sneaker store. What is your favorite Wasab memory? 
Um, my favorite Versailles memory was freshman year when I met Calissa in Mr. Levitt's class. And as soon as I walked in and I was looking for a seat and she was just smiling at me. And I found it weird because I'm like, I don't know her, but she's just cheesing at me. So then I went to just sit next to her and then we was just talking and vibing and stuff. Uh, I see myself, right now I'm not really sure, but um, I see myself maybe just traveling and like and seeing new places. I am going to go to college. I'm going to go to Brooklyn College. I'm going to join the volleyball team at Brooklyn College. Um, volleyball was connected to my high school. Like I started volleyball in high school and that uh, is going to lead me to volleyball in college. I really enjoy the sport. I had a lot of really good memories in Wasat too. I remember um, Y plan especially. Um, every day after the period end, we all had to like run downstairs to do the recycling. It was really fun. We went to Fidelity Triangle. I remember half the time I would just slack and not do anything and I would just lay on the bench. And I feel like I was, in general, I was really lazy. But I, like, I do end up giving in my work. But yeah, Wasad was a really nice experience for me. In 10 years, I see myself now finishing college and pursuing the career as a pediatric physician. And what is your most memorable Wasad moment? My most memorable Wasad moment was going to Six Flags for a senior trip with the rest of the class and having fun and relaxing all day. In 10 years, I see myself pursuing my goals in the business industry. My most memorable Wasad moment was the senior trip going to Virginia with the rest of the senior class. In 10 years, I actually see myself on a construction site bossing other people around because that's what I do the most. I really enjoyed dressing up during the holidays as a penguin. To be quite honest, man, I really don't know. Um, I'd have to say at the end of every term, my friends would sort of help me uh, pass my classes. We'd always try to get my work done. And that was, that was basically just about it. Just trying to get my shit together and graduate. <laughs> I see myself 10 years from now, laying down, watching a movie, making good money, and, um, and chilling, probably with the family. I don't know yet, but yeah, and making a lot of money. That's it. There you go. Where I see myself in 10 years is still attending college, hopefully finishing off three years for criminal justice. Hopefully I will have a job by then for the cadets. If not, I will just finish off doing some internship. Years from now, I see myself playing with the Los Angeles Angels, making over, mm, I want to say, 6.7 million a year, something light starting, you know. <laughs> My favorite Wasad memory, I definitely got to say, was uh, my chip game in Yankee Stadium. Definitely, I got to say that one. Uh, so my favorite memory, um, it's probably Six Flags. That's the only thing I can remember right now. And um, 10 years from now, I see myself being one of the top physical therapists of New York. And, um, in the next 10 years, I see myself running in the Olympics for the USA team. I see myself in 10 years. In 10 years, I see myself becoming a multi-millionaire, um, buying my parents a house. You dig? Um, my favorite Wasab moment, I have to say, my favorite Wasab moment was a scene trip, just because spending time with my friends, it was just, you had to be there to know. It was, it was just fun. I see myself in 10 years becoming a nurse if I graduate from Hunter College and nursing program. If and probably have a cute husband, I don't know, you know, <laughs> and get a good pay and work in a hospital, that's it, yeah. Where do, where do, I, see myself, where do I see myself in 10 years? Well, um, I'll probably be gonna still be in school studying because I'm trying to be a surgeon, so that takes like about 14 years. So yeah, pretty much in school, probably with a boyfriend, with a cute boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Where I see myself in 10 years, uh, 
when I see the future, I see myself as a successful civil engineer and hopefully do something that will benefit the world in a positive way. My favorite memory in Mossad was working with the New York Police Department on um, creating library boxes for other neighborhoods in Martin Luther King Day. All right, uh, where do I see myself 10 years from now? Um, I see myself as a successful uh, computer engineer. Um, my favorite memory during high school probably was uh, recently in the Six Flags trip when uh, Omar and Eric got in the sky lift together and we were really high in the sky and all we see is Omar shaking the cart around and we were just dying in the, in the cart behind. Ten years from now, I see myself as a successful broadcast journalist and my favorite memory was just hanging out with friends. <laughs> Alright, so ten years from now, I see myself just being happy, probably a family, going into architecture, being a, a professional. And my favorite moment in high school was this one time in freshman year when uh, I, we was in Ms. Taylor's class and we was all just like relaxing. It was the end of the year and we really just was just chilling, just having fun. In 10 years, I see myself doing something with music, uh, doing something that I, that I love for sure with the people around me that I love. And then my favorite memory is just being in class, joking around with my friends, just chilling. That's what it is. I, um, I see myself a millionaire by 23, um, traveling the world, experiencing new stuff. And my favorite moment was being in class, joking around with my friends. That's it. Ten years from now, I see myself working and being successful in life. And my favorite memory is graduation. Where do I see myself in 10 years? I see myself pursuing my educational dream, which is becoming a vet and majoring in veterinary studies and minoring in, st in teaching. And my favorite Wasad memory, I would have to say it go, it's kind of split between all the volleyball games with the volleyball team, all the handball games with my handball team, and also going to the States with my Skills USA team. In 10 years, I see myself as the head of an engineering company. But also at this time, hopefully, I'm done with getting my PhD as an engineering professor so that I can also go into CTE field and be a teacher for that. Because as much as I love engineering, I also love being able to teach kids and incite learning in their minds and make them want to go and enjoy education. I also plan on traveling the world and learning about the world and how other countries do their engineering compared to American engineering and see where the overlap is and where the difference is. And for my favorite West Side memory, it would have to be the first day of school because on that day is the day that I decided to finally take my work seriously. It was a day where everybody came in and we were all late to first period like, no one made it in on time. And so it was also the day that I met all of my best friends that I'm sticking with to the end of time. I want to give a thank you to Juan, Joseph, and Isaiah for one, keeping the video club open, and two, taking up the mantle as the videographers and photographers for our school. I also want to say sorry for what you're about to experience. Say goodbye to your social lives and goodbye to any sports that you want to play because it is a pretty serious job and you should take it with a lot of responsibility. There's no such thing as cutting it short or taking any shortcuts in this job. Everything has to be done and you have to take your time with it. So please do your best. Thanks.
Hoping you take that jump You don't feel the fall Hoping the water rises You built a wall Hoping the crowd screams out You're screaming your name Hope if everybody runs You choose to stay Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move Everybody here is watching you Cause you feel like a Like a dream come true What if I change
just like a movie It was just like a song I was so scared to face my fears Nobody told me that you'd be here And I swear you When we 